So this will be our walk today. Our, our cab driver just dropped us off in Val Carlos. Fun fact, he said that today should be 50% on the road and 50% in the woods to Ron Savayas. And then another fun fact is he mentioned that currently where we're at in the season, there's about 40 to 50 pilgrims a day that start and it'll increase to about 400 a day in the peak season. So it's 9.15 and we're off. Well, we're finally walking downhill and Lady Rec voiced a concern and I'm like, what could you be concerned about? We're going downhill and she's right. We're gonna have to go up at some point. How do you beat these views? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a house up there way up on that hill. up there you can see the roof that guy he's done with people he is done peopling okay we're so we're just walking along here and that sign right there i said i didn't chase it i wish i knew what that sign meant and he's walking behind me and he said i just wish we could find one camino sign that we're going the right way and then he looked down right there Well, it looks like we're getting to the part of this walk, the 50% part where we get into the woods. Off the busy road. Off the busy road. So we're heading down. It's important when you're doing a hike like this or a walk, if, when you're pilgriming, whatever you want to call it, that if something's bothering you, you fix it immediately. This shell is for, bothering me. Is clanking off a carabiner or something, and there's no good spot for it really. So she's shortening up the little string, and she's gonna tie a tighter knot so that it only clangs against my bag. That's the goal, at least. in the road and there's a Camino sign that way and this nice gentleman said definitely do not go that way so we're gonna follow the signs well we're getting ready to go off-road and it's time for trekking poles this might be um, I don't know we're just really soaking all of this in right now and like we just shared with one another it's it's um, it's just really, it's like, it's kind of an emotional experience for us. Like just the beauty that this is. And we just feel so lucky and blessed to be having this experience. But also we were just talking about how, I mean, cause we have our headphones with us and I really thought that we would be using our headphones and we haven't touched them yet. And this is why, I mean, I wouldn't give up listening to this for any kind of music in the world. It's just, it's just. This is all the music we need. Yeah, it's beautiful. We stopped to mix some electrolytes and have a five or 10 minute break. We've been on the road, like not, we've been on the asphalt road and the traffic road for, I don't know, 20 minutes now, 30 minutes out of the woods. So we're mixing the electrolytes and we're stopping to go to the bathroom, if you will. Yeah, not if you will, we are. And there's like this old fort here. I, I don't know if it's a fort or what it is. But there's a perfect toilet for someone that's got a squat back there. My favorite thing on the video is when people are breathing so heavy, so. Here we are. Here we are, giving you a little glimpse of how Hard we're working right now. Jason Reg has been 
in zone five, I think for the past probably 15 minutes. My heart rate's 160 right now. doesn't really end. We're at the billy goat phase of this deal. We're taking the route that I said goes through the Pyrenees, but it's still kind of going over it. I don't know when this ends. So why don't you give me a little update on your day, your thoughts, what, how you're feeling? Um, I, so far really good, <laughs> probably better than I deserve. Truly, uh, I feel hungry. I feel ready to eat real food. I feel, um, Rack keeps walking in front of me. <laughs> these inclines and it's um what's the word that you used discouraging discouraging i feel like my vocabulary is failing me yeah it's discouraging because he's just like kicking my tail but it's okay it's not a race um this we've been uh, there's been a lot more uh that our cab driver called it you're gonna be in the forest so there's been a lot more forest walking today which I'm so thankful for because the road out there and the switchbacks and the turn it's insane so I'm happy to be in the forest wreck I would like <clears throat> to know about how your Camino is going like from your perspective today. Well, I'm having the time of my life so far. Obviously you're with me. I'm obviously I'm with you. Uh, I'm very happy to be off the road. Um, like you said, the cab driver said you will be in the forest. Um, I love walking in the forest. I love all the water we've seen. That's great. I love the beautiful views like behind us. And the, me also. The He's snow capped. also been staring at me all day. The snow capped Pyrenees. Um, I'm very proud of you. You're doing great. You feel discouraged because I'm ahead of you, but it's just, I have a longer stride, so it's just easier. So I'm real proud of you. I think you're doing great. Uh, it's been fun to see other pilgrims today. Yes. We've seen our first pilgrims. I think we've seen five or six. Mm -hmm. So that's been a blast. And yeah, I'm having the time of my life. Oh, also, we were talking earlier. Um, obviously, we've never done the other version of this route where you go through Orison and you do a little more elevation. Um, and obviously we can't do that because it's closed because of the snow. I was kind of disappointed. Um, and we've watched enough vlogs to kind of know what it's like to do it. I mean, we've never done it, but we've seen all the vlogs and I can honestly say that I don't think I'd want to do it a different way. This has been phenomenal time of my life. One more thing. Um, tell them about who we just got to talk to you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our dear friend, Mikey Richardson, just FaceTimed us. It makes me have tears in my eyes. We have like half a bar um, and it's their twins. Uh, it was their birthday yesterday. Um, so we didn't get to wish them a happy birthday or anything, but it was awesome. They FaceTimed us when we were just setting up to do this little video. So it was, it was great to chat with someone from home. It sure was. Yeah. So, bye. Finally going downhill. For a minute. For a minute. Heading to Roncevalles. Should be about 20 minutes from here. And uh, mostly downhill. So it's kind of nice to have a little reprieve. 
Uh, we've done about 2,400 feet of elevation today and now it looks like we're on the downhill side. I don't know where. Yep. So we just stumbled across this little bathroom on the side of the trail. Always carry TP, always. It's not a restaurant, it's not a it's it's just a building. That's a bathroom. One thing I would recommend for my fellow pilgrims though is always have toilet paper, which you should anyways. I don't know if there's enough toilet paper for what I need to do, but there's enough for she needed to do. So we're rolling through town right now. Very sleepy town. And the hotel we're staying at, hotel, house, albergue, whatever you want to call it, is like in the middle of nowhere. So we were hoping to get to a Mercado to load up with some food because we might do something crazy tomorrow. But everything's closed because of the siesta. I would love to see these trees when they're all filled in. It's like the branches, they're all tied together. I bet you that looks incredible. Oh. Absolutely massive change of scenery. We went from the forest and the hills to farmland. So this is our room. A little bit smaller than yesterday. Two beds, which is necessary. Spectacular. Spectacular. What else do we got here? Private bathroom is very important to us. So we got a shower. Be using that in a minute. And that, so it's, it's small, but it's private. looking for some snacks to put in our bags tomorrow because um, we're going to leave early in the morning and we don't have a lot of snacks. We didn't plan ahead. So this little town that we're in right now has one tiny little market where you have to like ring the doorbell to go in and um, sketchy at best. We'll leave it there. So there's these nice vending machines here which we're going to take a visit tomorrow morning and um probably this is where we will get our cafe have a starbucks <laughs> and, and i mean i mean probably have a couple candy bars and maybe a red bull <laughs> maybe a little ice cream so listen this is for sure the way of the camino like this is just how things work we knew it going into it um, after all of the vlogs that we've watched. So now we're experiencing it. <laughs> so she's pretty serious about this coffee thing, so. In the spirit of um, being prepared. <laughs> she's gonna give a decaf a try just to see how it is. One euro. Did you push decaf? Yeah. I bet you the machine's laughing at you inside. <laughs> oh, look at it. This is great. I mean, what else do you 
else do you even need? Starbucks who? I'll see you in the morning, right here. No? Can you run the hard server? We don't. <laughs> no, I'd have to go to my mom and dad's. What are you doing, babe? I'm just taking a little video of this. <laughs> That's I'd have to go home to